Welcome to a short introduction of Avnav. Avnav was developed by Andreas Vogel and is available for everyone free of charge. It is part of the Open Broad Projects, a platform on which water sports enthusiasts present the self-constructed DIY project around boating. Avnav is a navigation software, a chart plotter, developed for sailors and motorboaters in general. The program possesses the same basic functions as any other navigational softwares. Something like setting a mark along which one navigates creates routes and one can involve IES signals with corresponding features as approximations alerts. Regarding the further functions such as the included anchor alert are little extras. The display, the user interface with the wanted or needed data is adjustable for the most part to one's preferences. Avnav convinced me with the unique concept of having a server for the program and the well-executed implementation. The basis of Avnav can be installed on a Windows operating system or Raspberry, on which all required data, such as the nautical charts, are kept and provided by. The actual access to the charts occurs per web browser. Since the program is based on the server, the website can be accessed from any available device simultaneously, be it Android, iOS or Microsoft driven, as long as the Avnav server is in the same network as the gadgets. That is a convenient and helpful property. Avnav's developer is a sailor himself. He came up with a server idea for the easy access of from multiple devices. An example, one can make up a route for navigation and the one behind the tiller, the helmsman, would immediately get it on his device. That feature can be deactivated if not wanted. To sum it up, one has the possibility to personalize the user interface and synchronize the routes, without the hassle and the need to depend on different and difficult actions for the same outcome. The operability. The operability is solely designed for the use of touchscreens. It has the ability to design and use different layouts of the user interface and remember them on the device as the access happens by a browser. So one can have a 15-inch template for planning the routes and the device used for the navigating may be a 10-inch display so the wanted and needed arrays differ and they can be arranged to one's needs. Charts. Concerning the charts, they only have to be installed once on the main server as the other devices access it via a web browser. Any grid charts that are not encrypted by the manufacturer can be used. One can even scan and use his own charts as the developer of Nuff wrote a converter software. Vector charts of the OE, S, E and C type may be used as well, which are based on the official maps of the respective cartographic offices and states. Those need to be purchased via O-Charts shop. The popular charts by Navionics cannot yet be used, but allegedly there were promising discussions in progress at the Boat Fear, early 2020. Who knows what the future may hold? Should the server version of Avnov not be to one's liking and is wanted solely on one gadget, Andreas Vogel made another program called Standalone Avnov for those who like to keep things local on their devices without the server feature, which is only available for Android and Raspberry. Hence, what are the steps to get Avnav up and running for the tour? First off is the decision to choose one of the available options, server or local. The local non-server one is quite easy to install, just get the Android app or the Avnav Touch program, which solely runs on Linux or Raspberries. Avnav can be installed on a little cheapish single board computer like a Raspberry, which acts as the server. How the process proceeds may be seen on the following side under the section Avnav installation. Alternatively, for Windows, one can visit the developer's website and download the installation for Windows and follow the therein mentioned steps. A peculiarity occurs if one works with OpenPlotter image on the Raspberry. OpenPlotter gives apps and presets for disposal for the Raspberry that are cut out especially for maritime requirements. How that is supposed to work can be found here. If OpenPlotter sparked some interest, this is their website. OpenPlotter's data center is the Signal K server. It's less complicated than it sounds, as the installation variant of Avnav for OpenPlotter takes care of the necessary connections among Signal K and Avnav. The stated links in the video can be found in the video description. Is the server installation done? The usual icon for the program is nowhere to be found on the display. Reason for that is that the server on the Raspberry starts up with the computer and runs in the background. On Windows devices, the server has to be started manually, then it disappears in the background. The cause of that is that the access onto the server takes place via the web browser of each device. 
The input into the address bar is varying depending on which device the server is accessed. Is it the server device on which AppNav is running, the following is the input. Is it a different device but the same network, it should be this. One can as well put in the IP address, but finding it out could be difficult. It should look something like this. Mine, for example, is this. Should all have been done right, Avnav starts up and first shows a demo chart as the wanted charts need to be uploaded onto the server. Under the section Karten or Charts, one can find tips for installing the charts. The first steps may now be done with Avnav as it is mostly self-explanatory. If not, the section Quick Start should be able to help. Otherwise, the next video can be of help as well as it explains the Quick Start and the use of Avnav.